Hi YouTube and Saber Forum. This is Daniel1988 on the on the forum. I know it's been a while, but I just got my new Saber in today. This is the Ultra Saber's Survivor, I believe. So this is the second Cal Kestis Saber. Um, just came in today. So, um, yeah, it came in this afternoon, I think, while I was at work. So as you can see, I got it um, in the LE finish, which I really like. Um, for those who don't remember, um, I've since sold it, but I had the Fallen Saber as well, which was from the original game Fallen Order. This one is supposed to be similar to the one um, in the new um, the new game, the follow-up game, um, Sur Jedi Survivor. But, um, so anyway, I kind of want to go over some of the features on this. So first of all, I'll I'll kind of go over a bit, bit of the pros and the cons. Um, I got this saber. Uh, so um, one thing I'm going to say that I like is that the saber is smaller and handles a bit better than the Fallen did. Um, so the problem with the Fallen was, as a one, if you were one-handed saber, even two-handed, it was really, really big. Like, I think it was thicker, and it was longer, and it just, I mean, it was a great saber to have. I loved it. But it was just a little too much. It felt like it was over. It wasn't quite proportional. Like it was overly big. This saber feels damn near perfect. Like it's a perfect. It could be a one-handed saber. It could be a two-handed one. Depending how you hold it. Um, I absolutely love the detailing here. Like <clears throat> it looks like a saber that was blasted or um, cut or broken. Um... I think they re uh, Ultra Sabers really upped their game on this one here. Um, I like how they made the the uh, the emitter a, a little bit more detailed. Like this was just kind of flat and roundish, if I remember correctly. It was just a round pommel. It's got the neck here. I like these little new engraving parts there. Um, I like that this one goes basically almost all the way. Well, no, it doesn't quite go through. I think it's probably a short end here and then the other bit here. I think it's a two-piece. I'll explain why in a second. But, <clears throat> and these are flatter and closer to the body. So they're, so my problem um, with the Fallen, which, again, I still love, but is that these came out a little bit more. And so it was, yeah, it was just, like I said, it kind of was too much. It was too big for me. It was a little too unwieldy. This saber, I will say, is very wieldy. It's very, <laughs> it's very easy to handle. Um, it's not unwieldy at all. It's, uh, it, it could be a uh, single hand or a double handed saber. Um, let me get my, uh, Thing here real quick my stand stand here so I want to show you so I like the necking on the pommel or on the emitter sorry wrong wrong terminology here <clears throat> so for those of you who have uh who encouraged me to get a, a phone stand for my tape for my reviews here you go thank you so anyway one thing i like about this is that so this thing because it's a bit thinner it's a in fact i would say it's a lot thinner than the fallen um like i got the um the quick disconnects on this but it really jams it all in there and you have to be very very careful if you want to pull out the l if you get the uh quick disconnects like me and you want to swap them out you want to swap out the colors which 
actually is fairly canon, canon, so, um, because that's what you can do in the games. I like how this one, it goes a little bit above and beyond, uh, because of how far up this pump of this LED can get pushed up because of the switches and the wiring and stuff. I like that this one can kind of slip over the LED and it kind of, and you can kind of screw it on in even with the LED coming up a bit higher. <clears throat> Again, because of the smaller, the lack of real estate inside the hilt. Um, I would say like, even though that's a little aggravating, um, you kind of have to take your, uh, pick your poison. It's like, do you want a thinner saber that's easier to hold, <clears throat> but that lacks kind of real estate over here? Or would you rather um, have more real estate inside, but then have a bulkier saber that's a little bit harder to grip? For me, I'd rather have a little bit less um, real estate inside with uh, the emitter hollowed out correctly, which props to Ultra Sabers, they really uh, did that right. Um, I think in the Fallen, if again, it's been a while since I've had the Fallen, I think the blade itself came here. Now the blade comes around here, and then <clears throat> the emitter, can, uh, the LED can sit in the emitter here and, you know, stick out, jut out a little bit. Um, now I'm going to kind of talk about the things that I kind of had a little bit of a problem with. And I'll give my overall view of the saber. Um, so I noticed on this, I don't know if this is due to a parts shortage. I don't know if it's because this is a cheaper part. Um, or if this is just where they decided that this might be a little bit better. I don't know if you can tell. They, um, the, uh, your LED or your activation switch, I apologize. Your activation switch is going to be much smaller on this saber. Now, I don't know if it's something that they were doing it be, maybe because of the, the handle, the grip was thinned out a bit more. Or I get, again, it could be a part scarcity. It could be anything. Um, but yeah, I did notice that this is a, a very much a smaller activation switch. Like, let me show you... Um, the activation switch on one of my other sabers here that's kind of that same style here like this guy here this is a, a franken saber i got from somewhere else or a saber where they franken sabered it a little bit but anyway kind of like that like that's a bigger saber or the or the bigger activation switch even without the led <laughs> Let me see if I can find one that's got the, without the, oh, here, perfect. So like this one, let's look at that. I'm trying to angle it right there. Like that's not a distance, like that's actually, this is basically here. This will basically be them side by side. So they're using a smaller switch. Again, kind of depends on what your take is like I've got pretty fat thumb a pretty fat thumb kind of a knobbier knobbier fingers smaller but knobbier now to be to be clear you can activate it it's not a problem so both my fingers my, uh, my fingers and my thumb could activate the switch not a problem but it is um it's just smaller that's just it's just something to be aware of at least on mine it, it was smaller um the other problem the other kind of uh thing to be aware of like i like this and i even like the little scarring they did here to make it more battle worn so one i'm not really upset about it but just just be mindful of it this is not plastic like this is kind of like a, it feels more metallic-y so just be aware that depending how like this is sharp-ish now they did round it off a little bit but 
I mean, I could, like, you really have to try hard to hurt yourself, but just be aware that, um, like I said, it does feel like they attempted to smooth it out, but a little bit of it, it's just, well, anytime you have something like this, it's gonna, it's gonna be noticeable. So be kind of, I would, I'll put it this way, I would not use a two-handed hold where you're holding this down here. You're definitely gonna feel that. Um... Like I said, it's not painful. It's not, you know, full disclosure. It's not drawing blood. It's not, you know, poking me. But just be aware that it's it, it's noticeable. I, I don't quite know the exact term, the way I would phrase it, but it's noticeable. Now this, so those things are just kind of small things that I was like, eh. You know, I would have preferred a bigger switch here. But again, maybe if they... Maybe because they were thinning down the grip. Maybe that's why. Um, and just be aware of this. Again, it's not not going to necessarily slice you. But maybe if you caught it on the wrong angle, I could see someone maybe getting a little nick. But again, like, look, I'm doing this and there's no scratching, no blood, no cuts, nothing. So this is my one real gripe. So if you know the games... So overall, I'd say that I like the saber, but to me, this should have been the fallen saber, and then the fallen saber basically should have been this, just slimmed down. Like the slimmed down fallen saber should have been the Jedi survivor that had the different pommel, the little interesting pommel, um, and then this should have been the initial fallen saber because if you remember cal's saber in the first video game fallen order um jedi fallen order had this it looked like this it was all battle scarred it was um the pommel it was a double bladed saber but the pommel was wrecked because of blaster fire i won't if you haven't played the game i won't give away what happened to the saber or why i'll just say blaster fire hit it and it ended up looking like this with this being the saber that is supposed to be his saber from the second game which i haven't played that game i've seen gameplay from it um fortunately i don't have a ps5 so i can't play it but um this this should have a different pommel in my view in my view um this is what the saber looked like initially it from what i can gather from the gameplay it's not what it looks like not what the saber looks like in fallen order um the other gripe so let's do this this saber uh this pommel goes really far into into the saber like maybe it's hard to tell but yeah like it goes all the way down here now when i bought this i assumed like this was the end of the saber and this would be the pommel that you could then screw this part and put something else in here in fact that's actually one of my favorite things to do is to mix and match pommels hilts sometimes even the emitters a little bit so i went through and i checked some of my um because uh, I have a bunch of spare pommels and stuff like that because of that, because I like the mixing and matching. Um, there is no pommel that I have that's going to get all the way up in here. And, you know, right with the... So I think the ribbing for the pommel is about, like, in this area. There's nothing that, go, that I have that I have that goes up here. In addition, because of this, this design... You would need something that would safely like mount into this like this so that way this isn't sticking out and not you know not going to jab you if like here you've got the the uh cover tech wheel and you go to grab it if you accidentally grab it here that these these things aren't going to jam jab your hand right if you're just you know quickly going for your duel going for your saber you don't want to get stabbed by, by four or five of these all at once. So you would need a pommel that comes down and gets around this. I I just looked on the website, and maybe I'm wrong, 
but it doesn't look like Ultra Sabres has a pommel yet that can mount in there or, or an extension even that would mount in there and allow you to put one of their other pommels coming out. So if you're like me, a tinkerer, a customizer, that might suck a little bit. Um, if they redid the Fallen Saber, um, I would love nothing more than to mix and match. Like, I would love to put this on a Fallen Saber and then put the Fallen Saber's pommel in this. Now, again, the, po the Fallen Saber's pommel is not going to work because it's got that secondary ring that won't fit in here that will block this. So, in reality, this is the only um, pommel, again, that I can tell is going to fit. Now, for anybody who um, has this Saber um, and... Um, maybe has experimented with other pommels, maybe even other pommel companies, or even found a Ultra Saber's pommel that will fit in this and not leave these just out and loose, right? If you do that, please comment, be uh, comment below, leave any links, any descriptions, store information, etc. Because I would love to get a different pommel for this one. Put put this pommel on a different saber. And go from there. But like I said. For now. It looks like this is what you're going to be stuck with. Um, so just be aware of that. Like. I'm doing this just to let you know. What to expect. Because like I said. I had completely different expectations for the Saber. Now. With all that being said. Um, honestly, so here's. What's my overall thought. Am I happy with the Saber. I am. I, with all that being said, I'm actually very happy with this lightsaber. I like it. It's very comfortable to hold. Um, it is very game, um, it, game centric. So, um, the past several months, I've been flipping between Resident Evil Four Remake and the, um, and my copy of Jedi or uh, Jedi Fallen Order. And I love this saber. I just love it. It ticked me off that the uh, Fallen was too big for me. Now again, um, obviously my opinions are my own. And I'm giving you my opinions based on what worked and didn't work for me. I love the Fallen saber. I was tempted to buy another one and just kind of be like, okay, well, it's going to be bigger. Oh, well, you just got to deal with it. But I am glad they made this one. Now, I know they're calling it the Survivor. To me, this is the Fallen. So when I'm playing Jedi Fallen, uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, I'm going to proudly grab this saber. So I don't know if you could tell. I, I'm sorry, I forgot to give the sound, uh, give what this is. I got it with basic sound, quick disconnects, and I got it in um, Blue Violet Amethyst. This is my second saber with the, with this, with the basic sound and the blue violet amethyst. The other one I got was the Canyon Jerris saber. So I really like it. So overall, I would, I would very much give this a B plus and A minus. Like I said, the only real detractor for me is that um, I really wish that this could have been the screw point and then you could put a different pommel down here or down here because to me it looked initially it just looked like this was going to be the pommel and this was going to be part of the saber but that's basically my only real complaint um again even with the smaller button the smaller activation switch it's still it it's actually not hard at all to activate so it's just stylistically i'm like well i kind of like the bigger one but um, I think maybe because of the smaller housing, the thinner housing on it. Um, I think that's what it is. It is what it is. Um, other than that, I'm extremely happy. Like I said, I would give this a B plus, A minus. Because to me, this feels proportional to what the thing, what this actual saber is in the game. Um, and so, like I said, I'm happy with it. Um, 
again i'll be wearing this happily when i'm playing um jedi fallen order um in fact i think maybe it's time i pop that one back in it's been like a month or two since i played it so maybe i should pop that back in my ps4 and uh start this up again but anyway so that's my review um thank you ultra sabers um thank you for getting this so quick um oh yeah i also have to do to reshoot my uh my review video for the uh, uh, for the Inquisitor Saber I got because they did get back to me um, a couple months ago. I just haven't shot the video. But anyway, um, I'm really happy with this Saber. If you're interested in a Cal Kestis Saber, so they have it normal in black. They have it in blue, azure, and crim crimson, which is red. And then this one in... Um, and Ellie, so gold. I just went with the gold one. But, uh, yeah, no, I'm happy with it, and I love it. I think it's an awesome saber um, for the price, because I got it during their sale. So with the sales price, um, it was very, very affordable. So um, it's a thumbs up from me. And uh, until, until I get the next one, talk to you later. Bye.